Now you should know that your Windows PC, whether it's Windows 10 or 11, is secretly occupying the several gigabyte of junk file. Stuff you don't need, you don't use, like the installation file, the remaining file, the massive caches that you don't even know exist on your device. And even if you have done tons of optimization to boost your performance, but still if you are having the lagging issues, the stuttering issues, then probably the low disk space is the only cause. And the same you can see on my computer. I have only around 4.32 GB of space remaining. And once this free space reaches around 1 GB, which will reach very soon, my computer either will crash or freeze a lot and even I won't be able to do any kind of work. But don't worry, today I will share 8 best ways to clean your drive and create a lot of extra space without spending on another drive. And the very first thing that I would recommend you that try to delete all the huge and the giant file that are being saved on your computer like which are 4 GB, 8 GB, 6 GB in space. You don't even know that they exist and occupying a lot of space. Now the biggest problem is that most of the people are not able to find those kind of file here. So there is a very simple trick. Open your C drive. Then on the right hand top where it says search local disk C. Click on it and type here a very simple uh, command that will be size colon gigantic. And what this will do, it will list you all the files that are above 4 GB in space. On my side, I have only one file here, video file that is around 4.29 GB. So what I can do, I can play it and once I feel that I really don't need it, I will go ahead and delete it and easily free up around 4.29 GB space on my drive. Once you are done, now instead of gigantic, replace with huge. So that will be size colon huge. Now what this will do, it will list you all the files that are between 1 GB and 4 GB. And you can see that I have many files here that are around 3.96 GB, 3.24 GB, again 3.96. Now these are my virtual machine file and depending on your work, you may have different categories. So you need to look into it. And if you feel that you really don't need it, go ahead and delete them. And keep in mind that you have to delete them permanently. So what you can do, you can press the shift key and then press the delete key so that it can be permanently deleted without sending in the recycle bin. All right. Now next, we also need to delete the windows.old folder. So if you have recently upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, there will be a folder created on your local disk C that is by the name windows.old and it also take a lot of space. So basically windows.old folder is created so that you can roll back from Windows 11 to Windows 10. But if it's been more than 10 to 15 days and you are not planning to go back to Windows 10, then there is no need to keep that folder. So make a double click on local disk C again and here at the bottom somewhere you will find windows.old folder. Again select it. Press shift and delete key to permanently delete this folder. And next you also need to delete the software distribution file. And basically this folder contains the temporary windows update file. So here again in the C drive only. Open the windows folder. Double click on it to open it. Press the S key to come to the S section. And somewhere you will find the software distribution. Here it is. Double click on it. Now here inside the software distribution folder, you can delete each and everything. As I said, it contains the Windows update file that are not needed anymore. So select them all by pressing Ctrl A and press Shift and Delete key to permanently delete them. Next, bring up the run box pressing Windows and R key or right click on the Windows icon and click on run. And in the run box here, you will have to type temp and click on OK. Select all by pressing the Ctrl A key, then press the Shift and Delete key. Click on Yes, click Continue. Check the box, click on Skip. Once done, close it. Again, right click on the Windows icon, click on Run. This time you have to type percent temp percent. Again, select all the file here by pressing Ctrl A, Shift and Delete to permanently delete them. Check the box, click on Continue. And then finally, you have to press Windows and R key again. And this time you have to type Prefetch. Click on OK. Give the permission, select all the files, then press shift and delete to permanently delete them. And now bring the run box one last time. And this time you have to type percent app data percent again. Click on OK. This will bring up the roaming folder and here from the top address box, you will have to click on app data. Then click on local folder. 
now this local folder will list you all kind of folder of the application software that you installed on your device now many time those application that you were using around a one or two year back you have uninstall their folder they still exist on this location all right so you will have to spend some time here i'm not using the blue stack anymore but the folder still exists so i will go ahead and delete them as well and so on you have to look for each and every folder for the application for the program that you are not using anymore or you were using before but you have uninstall but their folder if they still exist here then you will have to delete it now once you are done finally here only you will have to look for a folder by the name nvidia because we have to clear the gpu cache open it then you will find the gl cache folder again open it and delete all the folder that are inside this gl cache folder so select them all then press the shift and delete key to permanently delete them now this was for the nvidia user but if you are using the amd then what you can do right click on your desktop click on amd software once it comes up from the top you will have to click on gaming then on graphics then scroll down to the very bottom you will find reset shader cache on the right side you will have to click on here click on ok and all done next we also need to optimize the ssd so bring up your c drive right click on it click on properties click on tools click on optimize select your ssd from here the main ssd that is my c drive i will select it and then you have to click on optimize once you have done now you can close it then click on your windows search type disk from the suggestion click on disk cleanup choose your main drive then click on ok and here it will list you all kind of categories of the location where you can delete all the file now probably on your side you may see something like windows update a cleanup file software distribution file and that basically occupy a lot of space like around 14 24 gigabyte of space so if you find that on your end you will have to select it and even select all the other file here like if you also want to empty the recycle bin you can check them let's check all the other option and click on ok and this will be now cleaning your drive now next right click on the windows icon from the suggestion click on settings in the setting from the left hand side click on system then on the right hand side click on the storage so it will take few seconds to run and it will let you know that your installed application is around 315 gigabyte videos are around 28.5 gigabyte temporary file are only 5 gigabyte now because we have cleared a much of a space and first you can click on the temporary file the size can be different on your end and still it says temporary file is around 12.7 gigabyte to be free up so i can select it download i don't want to delete so i will uncheck it rest i will check all of them then click on remove file now next what you have to notice like on my end you can see the installed application is taking around 315 gigabyte of space that is really really huge so i will click on it and i will carefully notice that what exactly is taking that kind of space and after spending too much of time i found that the wondershare filmora that is my video editor their backup file their rendering file is occupying that kind of space all right so if you also do any similar work like if you use any kind of video editing software 3d designing software or even if you are doing gaming there might be many kind of file that should be saved on your folder occupying a lot of space so you also need to check it so if i bring up the file explorer so you can see as of now from 4 gigabyte we have came around to 60 gigabyte free space but still we will free up many much more space so for that what you will have to do close everything again right click on windows icon click on run type percent app data percent again click on ok and here you have to look for that particular video editor or the software you feel is occupying a lot of space so on my end is wondershare so i will look for wondershare and if i right click on it go to properties you can see the space my god that is around 264 gigabyte of space is being occupied by this folder only by wondershare even i didn't know probably on your side also you have such kind of applications folder that is still exists on your computer you are not aware of it and this is exactly you need to find it out in order to free up around 100 plus gb of space all right now what i can do i can bring it up then i will find many more folder here 
I can hover up on each and every folder here or I can right click on it, click on properties. So this is the Wondershare Filmora that is occupying a lot of space. So once I know that this is the only folder occupying a lot of space, I can bring it up. Then you can see there are many folder like the backup folder. And if I hover up on backup, it's around 149 MB. So no worries. Then you can look on the render folder. And it's around 160 gigabyte in space, right? So if I open it, again open it. So these are the file basically related to the backup that work in the background. But now I really don't need them. So what I will do, I will again select them all by pressing Ctrl A, Shift and Delete and delete all this file. So you can see how much space is going to be empty now. All right. Now this time, if I go to this PC, boom. So you can see we have around 219 gigabyte free of 476 gigabyte. And earlier it was around 4.7 uh, gigabyte. So we have almost cleared 200 plus gigabyte of space. Now I have shared the method with you that how exactly you need to free up the space, how you need to find them out and then you have to delete it. So try the method, delete the file, delete the junk file. Once deleted, let me know that how much space you have free up on your device. That's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video, found the information useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.